Hi, I'm Mike Smith. Welcome to this training on various drive shafts found on BRP vehicles. Let's start with a quick recap of the main difference between a drive shaft and a propeller shaft. Power is sent from the gearbox through the propeller shafts to the front and rear differentials. In turn, the drive shafts send power to the wheels. Now let's look at some propeller shafts. In order to apply the engine's rotational power to the front and or rear differential, torque must be transmitted through a propeller shaft. Propeller shafts have a plunging section, and propeller shafts are typically attached to the gearbox and differential through a universal joint. The swivel action of the universal joint allows the propeller shaft angle to change with the vehicle suspension. This allows the propeller shaft to transmit power throughout the entire range of the suspension's movement. The plunging section allows the propeller shaft length to change as the suspension moves up and down. Both U-joints should operate at very similar angles. This propeller shaft is properly phased. The yokes are aligned. This propeller shaft is out of phase. The yokes are not aligned. Not all propeller shafts require U-joints. This propeller shaft can only plunge. It cannot change angles. And now for some various drive shafts found on BRP vehicles. Drive shafts must be able to change length change angles as suspension components move up and down, and swivel as the steering turns. The plunging joint typically allows for a change in length. Some drive shafts don't have plunging joints, but a drive shaft with two constant velocity joints still needs to be able to plunge or move axially. In this case, both the inner and outer CV joint races slide on the shaft. The shaft travel is limited by a circlip on one end and the length of the splines on the other end. Observe the differences in the joint casing. A plunging joint is longer and somewhat rectangular. A CV joint is cone-shaped. This section covers general drive shaft maintenance. Always follow the applicable maintenance chart for the vehicle. The most important maintenance item is the boot that covers the CV joint. Contamination of CV joints with dirt, mud, or water will quickly result in joint failure. Inspect boots for cracks, tears, cuts, or anything that could allow the joint to be contaminated. Never attempt to repair a cut or hold boot there is simply no effective way to repair them. Also, always check the security of the boot clamps. And finally, when replacing a damaged boot, take time to disassemble, clean, inspect, and re-lubricate the joint.